Hey, Ross. Hey, Kevin. Playing with your energy monitor there? Yeah, we looked at this technology last year on Future House. It's an energy monitor that connects to the two hot leads on your home's electrical panel and then transmits data about your power consumption via Wi-Fi. It's giving you a snapshot of what the house is using for electricity. It's also giving you device by device. It's actually learning the right. signatures of the house. And my brother and I bought one for our Father's Day. Wow, lucky him. So huh? finally a Father's Day gift that wasn't a hand tool or a tie. <laughs> I got my dad a nice bottle of scotch. You don't like the ties? <laughs> this is what happens when you come from a family of so, plumbers. So I have a house that was built to all the energy standards, highest energy standards in 2004. We put this thing in. I turn on the switch on the can, recessed cans over the kitchen island, and we watch this thing spike by like 900 watts. Wow. So these were recessed halogen lights. They were, I thought they were efficient, they aren't. So now what that does is it all of a sudden made me start thinking about, boy, I'm gonna leave those lights off and uh, maybe screw in some LEDs, because <laughs> right. now those are efficient, you That's can right. use those. And one of the other things was with the coffee maker. You know, you think, you know, it's a pod style. You think it's actually going to be, you know, only on when you're using it. But in this case, it's actually cycling. We could see it on and off. Right. We could see a, a spike on, spike you, off. You put the pod in, you press brew, and it comes on. Right, right, but it's got a little heating element that keeps that little reservoir, this electrical element that oh, keeps really? it on and off all day long. So when I leave, I make sure I turn that blue button off so I'm not doing it. This is, this is a typical spike right here, just for the coffee maker. So, I mean, this is the idea, right? Without the information, you can't fix the problem or change the behavior. Right. So now this is starting to change your behavior. That's right, right? absolutely. Yeah. I remember, though, the thing that got you excited was the ability to sort of foreshadow problems, right? You guys were seeing, was it a furnace that was cycling on and off and yeah. you were afraid it was going to break down? So we saw a furnace that took three ignition cycles to start when it should only take one. Right. And so that can be indicative of a problem. What, you know, what was cool about this is the refrigerator. Right? We saw the refrigerator was on all the time. It was drawing 1,300 watts when it was cycling. No, to the fridge. <laughs> no. It, the compressor just would not shut off. But we found out that the filter on the front that pulls all the air in was completely clogged. If no air goes in, it's not going to uh, take the heat away from the refrigerator, yep. and the compressor will just stay on, 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 and won't cool the box. So now you've got the information That's to solve right. the problem. Do you foresee a day when <laughs> nerds like you don't have to buy it and nerds. install it? No, I mean, I mean, it's stayed in a loving way, but where it actually just is built into the technology? Yeah, I, I see a day in the future where that type of device will be installed standard in any electrical panel. And what's great about that is that it's gonna send you a text message or an mm. email saying, your refrigerator is using 35% more electricity right. this month right. than it did last month, right. right? Something might be up. If and when that happens, it's standard then and only then will we actually change behaviors and reduce electricity consumption. Which would be a good day. Absolutely. Although you'd be left with one problem, and that's what do you do for Father's Day? <laughs> Back to the ties. <laughs> I'll take the scotch. Scotch would be nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.